Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Um, today we are doing a reading for Cancer. This is going to be a reading for the first half of May. So if that's something that interests you to see what's going on with Cancer, please go ahead and stick around. We are pulling different messages. Uh, we are using different decks. And a lot of times your messages come all the way in the end of the reading. So do stay until the end. All right, Cancer, what's happening for you? Let's find out. This one right here is definitely yours. Oh, we have regret coming out there. Okay, what else is happening for Cancer? Guilt and happiness. Look at this, regret and guilt. Hmm. Similar energy there, not the same, but similar. Could be definitely connected. We'll find out. We'll draw some tarot on it and get a little bit more information, starting with that regret. Oof. Ooh, look at that. Emperor in reverse. Uh huh. Ace of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. There's something under that. Ooh, Five of Swords. What I'm getting here is somebody regret ending a relationship with you because they see you connected to somebody new. That's what I'm getting here, Cancer, so strongly. Could have been this person who was over controlling. Could have been even your um, husband here. For some of you, of course, it could have been a wife. We have emperor and empress, but emperor is here in reverse. Look at this, look at this. If this was upright, this could have been a power couple here. And I feel like this relationship had a potential of being a power couple, but somebody messed up here. Somebody um, gave up on it. Somebody, somebody here walked out of the, on this relationship and they have regrets, absolutely. They know they cannot change past, but they do want to come with a, an apology here. I feel like this person has a lot of thoughts. They can't get you out of their head. They can't get you out of your, their head. I am getting the energy of a strong potential of a power couple, two people who are meant to be together, being together, growing together, building something together. And somebody just uh, took a turn in the wrong direction here, I would say. Not that there is a wrong direction, you know, everybody is on their own path, but that's the energy I feel from them. That's what they think. That's what's on their mind here. And they do see you connected to somebody new, Cancer. I feel like they see you connecting to somebody who's, uh, who can offer you stability that probably they didn't. And I feel like um, they, they're just so stuck in their head. They feel like they can't get you out of their head. They're coming with an apology. They want to talk to you. Uh, they could be seeing you connecting to an earth sign. Doesn't have to be. But I feel like they're seeing you connecting to somebody who's, who can offer stability. They're coming with an apology. Be prepared, Cancer. Let's find out what is this guilt. Lovers. We're talking about love here. Maybe some choices in love that they feel guilty for. They didn't allow a relationship to grow. Now, for some of you, I will say, Cancer, this is you. This is definitely you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. There is a guilt here. There is a guilt here coming. I want to say this is coming from the person that is very much connected to you. For a lot of you, Cancer, this is not about you. This is about a person who's connected to you. A person who made a choice not to work on certain relationship. A person who made a choice to kind of drop it before it had a potential to grow and become something big and something good. Um, yes, I am getting the for some of you, Cancer, this is going to be your energy. But for majority of you, this is somebody who's connected to you. Somebody who, like I said, uh, this was your counterpart. They could have, they could feel like you are their counterpart. They could feel like you're their twin flame. But they dropped the ball here. They didn't give this relationship a chance it deserved. And now all they do is thinking about it, thinking about what could have happened or what would have happened, watching you growing with somebody else, watching you giving into the relationship that is fair, that is a relationship of two mature people, an equal relationship. And they might even know that you have plans to, um, to get married to this person. I am getting this energy of them knowing, hearing, thinking that, you know, the, you might have gotten engaged recently and this person is very much aware of this and, uh, 
it's on their mind. They, they, does, they have regrets. They have regrets. They feel guilty for what happened, for, what, for their lack of effort they put into this relationship. And now all that's left there for them is watching you and being happy with somebody else and possibly getting married to somebody else. Wow. Wow, Cancer. Look at this. We have happiness there. It was five of oh, three of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. Three of swords. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and ten of cups. Wow. Yeah, let me just see if we can get... Let me see something here, Cancer. Let me see something. Okay. All right. Okay. What I'm getting here, Cancer, is that... There is absolutely happiness coming here for you. Happiness after a heartbreak. Happiness after a heartbreak. Um, you could have been even put in a thir thir third party situation here in the past. Uh, there was definitely a heartbreak, but you healed from it. You became much more independent. You risen higher. You persevered. You became free out of this heartbreak. You healed. And this is your happiness right here. Ten of Cups is just that. Is that happiness. Is that beautiful happiness in the love connection. Is that beautiful happiness in a family. Is that beautiful happiness to build the family. Some of you are definitely taking your connection to a new level of commitment. You could be getting engaged. You could be getting married. You are definitely starting a family here. You've been happy in a family. Lots of energy of just being really, really happy. And when I was asking who is this person that you're connected to, um, the High Priestess card came out. It could be a Pisces, absolutely. You could definitely be connected to a Pisces here. But I also feel like whoever this person is, this person is very intuitive. And there is a little bit of a mystery around them. This person is not very easy to read, but I feel like um, they are very interesting. A very interesting person, very intuitive person, very um, calm. There is calm energy that's coming uh, from them as well. And uh, loving, caring person, somebody who will support you in anything and everything you do. That's what, that's the relationship I see for you. This is what's going on. This is what I feel like the other person is watching you uh, going through right now. Going into your happiness. Wow, Cancer, look at that, interesting. Got some tea on your axe here. I do feel that for a lot of you. All right, let's go ahead and um, get some coffee cup oracle cards here. Let's see what else we need to know for Cancer. That was quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Is it? No, this one, okay, and something else. For cancer. Okay, that's it. Look at this. Interesting. We have fish. We have ship. We have anchor. A lot of uh, a lot of water theme here. Some of you could be going through some sort of trip here. Some of you, there is an energy of um, wow and a wheel. Look at this. Not all of these cards are. Uh, mar like uh, maritime uh, themed not all of these cards but by far not all of these cards have the theme of a sea and water you could be definitely dropping your anchor by the water you could be going on some sort of trip over the water you could be going on a cruise you could be connected somehow to the fishery or ships that the, i mean like i said these cards have very different themes this is coffee cup oracles this these cards based on the you know coffee cup messages and signs and uh, to get four cards that are connected so much to water and ships and to fish and that marine sea theme it's uh, quite incredible so i do feel that for some of you this is significant some of you are definitely going through some sort of uh, going on some sort of trip over the water here um what i'm also getting is um, being in the industry that is connected to either military or and if it is military it could be definitely like um, um, maritime maritime and um, and getting your uh, money from there getting a very good increase in paycheck from there some of you this could be like cruise line industry um, so for some of you this could be a fisherman industry here whatever it is I am getting very strong energy that is going to be successful for you and uh, look at this as I said successful we have 10 of 
uh, ten of pentacles this is money this is success in money and chariot is a win so if that's your industry i am getting a very strong energy of um, um being successful there and look at this somebody from your past is watching you watching your success in all areas in your life and they regret what happened between you two they regret for letting go they re regret for spilling those cups here this person the, it envies you they envies you maybe not in a malicious way but it's just the energy that is coming across because they regret what they've done in the past so bad we've seen this throughout the whole reading so far the person that is here the person that is in your energy here they regret for spilling the cups they regret for what they have done here they regret for what happened between you two and they are a little jealous of uh, how come how far you came without them they're jealous of your uh, glow up of your success and success here is in many different areas of your life some of you are relocating some of you are physically relocating this could be relocating to a different country to a completely different continent here and if that's the case i feel like this relocation is very much connected to a new job or a new business or a new way of making money and it's going to be very very prosperous and lucrative for you and yep there is a person that's watching you and they are jealous it's there the energy is there all right, let's go ahead and pull some uh, tarot for you and let's see what else we haven't covered, what else we um, don't know, what else is happening for you for this first half of May. Let's find out what other messages we have here for you. Uh -huh. Five of Wands. Mm-hmm. There is some competitiveness here. There is some sort of uh, um, going um, energy here of um, somebody maybe even competing for you here. I am getting this energy as well. I feel like there is somebody here who wants to compete for you. I am getting an energy from them to win at any cost. So be careful of that. I feel like there could be somebody here rushing with uh, communication. They want to talk to you. They want to communicate with you. They want to ask you for a new chance. They want to ask you to dive in into, and take a risk on them. But there is a little bit of a toxic relationship related to them. And guess what? It is that person from the past. It is the person from the past. It is the person who you were connected to. Um, I have seen the energy of Pisces in your reading before and it kind of connected to the new energy. But I do feel that there could be new and old here for you so i am getting this energy of people competing for your heart here and there is a person here from the past could have been a um, a fire sign here could have been an aries here could be also an air but i'm getting more strong energy of a fire sign capricorn is coming through but i do feel it's a person from the past who wants to win at any cost and i do feel a little bit of an energy from them that they just want to win there is a bit of a uh, I would say a little bit of a toxic energy that comes from there. But there is also somebody new here. There is somebody new with a cup of love that is coming towards you. And I do feel that that could be that Pisces energy. That could be somebody who will change your whole view on love. This person is very subtle. This person is very calm. This person, again, is not that pushy. They're not pushy. They're not going to like, you know, try to force you into anything. They're just there with their cup of love waiting for you to come towards them not to say that they're indecisive or they don't take any action they do but they are very settled in their approach that's what i'm getting these are the messages that came in today cancer i hope this reading was helpful to you i do hope that you found something in here that resonated with you and thank you so much for spending your time with me i hope to talk to you soon bye for now